Nothing beats an aquarium tank with a load of incredible and exciting fish. Who wants a dull looking tank, right? Luckily for today's video, your eyes will catch a glimpse of these entertaining and fantastic balloons in the fish keeping hobby. Hold up, what do you mean balloon? Balloon, something that you can hold up in the air to appear big. You need some clarification, but it's the nearest thing that can symbolize this fish we're about to feature. Look who's in deep thought now. If the first thing that comes to your mind is the freshwater puffer fish, you got it right. Because this magnificent creature will be the center of our discussion on another educational and fun topic here at Aquarium Store Depot. nature has bred many stunning creatures that you wouldn't expect to be that oddly beautiful at first glance. Just like this fish on your screen. You must have seen this from one of the greatest cartoon shows for children and young adults. But there's so much more to it than just the image you grew up with. That's right, because the family of freshwater pufferfish has tons of types. Pufferfish are members of the Tetraodontidae family of fish, which include species that may live in fresh, brackish, and saltwater habitats worldwide. They can double or triple their physical size by inhaling air or water. They appear considerably more prominent than they are while puffing up, which scares away predators. If that tactic doesn't work, pufferfish have a backup strategy. All puffers have a toxin called tetrodotoxin on their skin. Fortunately, captive fish are generally considered harmless as long as you don't try to eat them. And that's one of the thousand reasons you should consider this fish as your next tank superstar. To help you choose which among their species will suit your preference best, allow me to introduce to you the best 13 types of freshwater pufferfish in the hobby. But before we continue with the discussion, it would make our hearts pop if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our growing channel, where we cover many fish keeping topics. Now that you've already shown us your support, let's finally dive into the first puffer type on this list. The Cutie Pea Puffer. The pea puffer fish is a fantastic tiny fish that is inexpensive and easy to find in fish stores. You can keep one of these little fish in a tank as small as 5 gallons because they only grow to be an inch long. Although dwarf pea puffers are adorable, keeping more than one can be dangerous since they can be aggressive. In a heavily planted 15 gallon tank, a trio of one male and two females is worth attempting. But be sure you have a backup strategy for separating your pea puffer fish if there's a disagreement. Second is the imitator. Similar in size to the dwarf pufferfish and having the exact basic care needs, the imitator pufferfish is a small type of puffer. Its brighter yellow hue and lack of markings make this uncommon species easy to identify. If I were you, I would try petting an imbu. Unlike the first two kinds, the imbu pufferfish has nothing nano. This giant puffer is a beautiful pet for committed and knowledgeable fish owners. These enormous freshwater pufferfish need a massive aquarium with hundreds of gallons of thoroughly filtered water. They may be maintained in a community tank, but stay away from bottom dwellers with sluggish swimming speeds, since the powerful imbu puffer may see them as delectable food. This next fish would go out of style. Meet the hairy puffer. A fantastic ambush hunter from Asia is the hairy pufferfish. The hair-like growths that ring around the body of this unusual freshwater pufferfish gave it its name. At the bottom of the tank, hairy puffers wait for something tasty to swim or crawl past. They thrive in a species-only tank with a sandy substrate that they may dig in because they're not community fish. Green Spotted Puffer, as our fifth fish, deserves a spot in your tank. This species with the most admirable appearance is called the Green Spotted Pufferfish. These cute fish have a back that's yellow-green with dark dots and a white belly. Being a species of modest size, a 55-gallon tank would be preferable to a 30-gallon one for keeping them. Except in huge tanks, they typically exhibit aggression towards members of their species. It's crucial to remember that this puffer is a species that lives in brackish water. Adult fish require a somewhat saline environment to flourish, although juveniles are sometimes sold as freshwater fish. The Spotted Congo is 7th. The spotted Congo puffer with a maximum length of around 4 inches is the smallest African species. They can coexist well with other fish and live in tiny groups. Just stay away from any tank mates with long, slow-moving fins. Like other puffers, these guys require excellent water quality and a consistent supply of hard-shelled food to survive and grow. If you can offer the right foods, you should be okay with keeping this unique African species successfully. 
Amazon pufferfish is the seventh most beautiful creature. One of the rare animals on our list, the Amazon puffer thrives in community aquariums. Although this species forms shoals naturally, you may keep one, but it'll succeed if you keep it in groups of at least six, because it does so in the wild. A red-tailed dwarf is something you should also consider. The red-tailed miniature pufferfish is a freshwater species in Asian woodland streams. They have beautiful patterns and eyes that are a vibrant crimson color. The tank mates you should choose for these puffers should be carefully considered because, like other puffers, they will nip slow-moving fish. If you have enough plants and hardscape to block their line of sight, you might keep them in small groups. However, try to add one male and a few females. This next fish, called Fahaka, is truly a beautiful magica. One such enormous species native to Africa is the Fahaka pufferfish. To keep their sharp beaks worn down, they need a diet high in hard-shelled foods such as entire mussels, clams, crab legs, and snails. With its unique patterns, the Fahaka puffer is a fantastic wet pet for a tank with just its kind of fish. You should avoid introducing any tank mates since these fish are very aggressive, even with members of their own species. You might not be rich, but the gold puffer will make you look like it. These freshwater pufferfish look gorgeous, but the golden puffer is still relatively uncommon in the hobby. Since they're rumored to be quite hostile against other fish species and their own kind, it's best to provide each individual with an aquarium. Fortunately, they only grow to 4 inches, so the aquarium doesn't need to be that large. Going 11th on the list is the oscillated puffer. Another uncommon species that make a beautiful pet is the oscillated pufferfish. The tank should be well planted with caves and other hiding areas for this fish to thrive. Their native habitat may be recreated with a sandy substrate and moderate water flow. They're considered aggressive and not suited for community tanks. You don't need Cupid to fall in love with our 12th fish, called Arrowhead. The Arrowhead pufferfish lurks beneath the substrate as an ambush predator. Because they can fit any small fish in their mouth, these fish are pretty aggressive and will eat them. They're best suited for a tank with just members of their species because they'll also bite pieces from larger freshwater fish. They don't require massive tanks, however, they need a thick layer of fine substrate between 2 and 3 inches so they can burrow through. And last on our list is the Crested Pufferfish. Another dwarf puffer that works well in tiny fish tanks is the Crested Pufferfish. Although it grows slightly more prominent, this species resembles the red-tailed dwarf puffer in appearance. Keep these fascinating pufferfish in an aquarium with many plants to replicate their native environment. Although seasoned aquarists may successfully keep a small group in a big tank with lots of hardscapes to establish various territories and dense foliage, they should be kept away from other fish species. And there we have it! As I promised, the 13 excellent types of freshwater pufferfish that are available in the hobby. Although their presence alone is enough, you should know that there are still some aquarium species out there that could best fit as tank mates for these puffers. What are those, you might ask? Let's discuss them briefly. Generally speaking, bigger fish who aren't afraid to defend themselves make the finest tank companions. Small swift fish species are another option for tank mates, but bear in mind that the more giant puffers will eat them if they can catch them. The size of your tank is also essential. And the bigger the tank, the lower the chance of aggressiveness you run. Choose a more peaceful species like the South American puffer to introduce pufferfish to a community tank. Speaking of tanks, your pet's artificial habitat is also essential. Since puffers are messy eaters, frequent water changes and superior filtration are essential. To establish a suitable maintenance schedule, you'll need to test your water regularly at first because these fish do not thrive in high nitrate water conditions. Some puffers are suited to high water flow despite how they appear. These species will value a few powerheads to mimic their native river habitat, but provide some protected areas to rest and unwind. Live plants are beneficial for all species of freshwater pufferfish. However, more notable species can be harsh on the plants and are not the best option for a stunning aquascape. You might try some java ferns and the fast-growing anacaris, both plants we have already shown in our prior videos on our YouTube channel. Now that you know about their tank mates and needs, you should also familiarize yourself with the appropriate foods. What are those? We'll discuss it right now. Due to their special diets, pufferfish won't consume typical fish foods like flakes and pellets. Since they eat meat, their unique beaks enable them to crush rather challenging foods. Most puffers like to eat live snails, but keeping a constant supply can be challenging. 
Growing your snails in a separate tank or container is the best option. Ram's horn, bladder, and pond snails are the best for this. Avoid Malaysian trumpet snails because of their tough shells. If you've got a friend who has a snail infestation, tell them they're in luck, because your puffer fish would love to eat them. You can check out this list on your screen of foods that you should offer your puffer fish. Always avoid overfeeding so you don't have ammonia or nitrite spikes. Small feedings two times a day should suffice for most species. Just make sure your filter can handle it. I know you've still got some questions about our topic today, but don't worry because our channel and comment section are open for your feedback and questions. You could also check out our official website at AquariumStoreDepot.com where you can read and share some trending topics in your journey. Beautiful creatures including freshwater pufferfish frequently feature intriguing designs and vibrant colors. However, the behavior of these fish is just as well known as their appearance. If you're looking for a fascinating carnivorous pet fish with enough personality to fill its tank, freshwater pufferfish is the perfect choice. If you want to purchase one, visit your local fish store or ask us about the most trusted online shop that we recommend. I hope you fell in love with this unexpected freshwater fish. And if you do, I hope you'll give time to researching and knowing what they're all about with the help of our channel. I'll see you on our next fantastic topic. Remember to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, fish keepers.